Flyers have a nice history. Um, the last one cups though in 74 and 75. Would you like to be one of those to end that drought winning a cup? I think every hockey player wants to win a cup, so uh, you know, that's my main goal is you know to win an NHL or to win a cup in my my NHL career. So you know if I had the chance to do that, that'd be unbelievable. Have you had the chance to think about the fit in terms of the organization? I mean, with the Devils and the Flyers in the last couple of weeks, I'm sure that had to have crossed your mind at some point. Yeah, a little bit, but I try not to you know think too far ahead. I just try to you know stay in the moment and enjoy the experience of being here. So. Uh, Right now, I'm just gonna you know enjoy it with my friends and family, and then uh, you know get back to work, and you know hopefully I can uh, crack the team in, in October there. So that's my main goal. Is there a sense of relief? I mean, you've had a trying year with the injuries and not playing that much, and uh, you're glad that's all behind you. You can just move forward. Now. Yeah, uh, you never want to be injured, and especially in your draft year. So uh, obviously that's a, that was a tough year for me, but you know I think it makes me stronger as a player. And adversity at this age doesn't hurt, so you know I'm just gonna move on from there and get ready for next season. When you came to Philadelphia for the yep. uh, medical checks, were, were you nervous about that? Did you feel as though you were basically having the petition to sell yourself that you were a healthy player? It's not an easy thing to do. No, it doesn't really matter to me. If you don't want to draft me, then you know don't draft me. So. Uh, you know, I'm happy. I, I'm really happy I went here, and you know, I think they just wanted to get me to see their doctors, and you know, not get information from doctors who who aren't there. So that was kind of the main thing. What do you have to do? What's next for you? To make sure you're in the NHL next season. Just a good summer training, getting bigger and stronger. I think that's uh, you know, everyone in the NHL can skate, and they're you know, strong players. So that's my main thing. If you hadn't missed so much time this year, do you think there would be no question about playing next year? It would be a foregone conclusion. You'd be starting in the NHL. I don't know if missing games this year matters too much. I was still, you know, doing a lot of skill development stuff when I was hurt and work on mobility things. So, um, you know, I just I just played a college season, so it would uh, that's what happened this year. A few words about um, you know, playing Sault Ste. Marie, and, and just uh, that team's produced a lot of draft picks the last few years, and, and you're one of them. Yeah, um, you know, I, I can't say enough good things about that organization. And um, you know, I think it was just such a blessing that I got drafted there because I think it's you know the perfect situation for me. And um, you know, they do such a great job developing players, and I played with so many great players. Um, all the staff, the trainers, like I said, all my teammates—they've just been so um, you know so helpful for me, and I, and I can't thank them enough for that. Um, who in particular? I mean, was it Coach Bannister getting the most out of you? Uh, GM Kyle Raptors having their confidence in you? I mean, just some of the guys that helped you out. Yeah, I, I definitely like to thank Rafi a lot. Um, you know, for bringing me in and, and showing confidence in me, and then um, you know, Danny's been so great for me, and you know, all the assistant coaches I've had. Ryan Ward's been huge for me. Um, Joe Sorella, Donald McLean, my first year. Um, you know, just so great in, in developing my play and, and developing me as a person as well. So. Um, get any advice from some of the guys, uh, Boris Kachuk, uh, Zach Sinishi, Blake Spears, uh, so many guys have been drafted and been through this mm -hmm. process that uh, you, uh, you can lean on. Yeah, those uh, those are some of my best friends on the team, actually. And, um, you know, whether it was in the hotel or, or on the bus or even just hanging around in the room, um, uh, I learned so much from those guys. And like you said, they've been through it. So, um, you know, they kind of helped me learn what to expect. And, um, you know, I, I think that really helped me in the overall process for sure. What do you know about the Flyers in terms of the team, the makeup of it, their history and stuff like that? Uh, I wouldn't say that I know too much. Um, I follow the NHL a lot, so I know a lot of their players and that kind of thing. But um, you know, I, I don't know a lot about the city or uh, you know, in depth with the organization. But you know, I know some of their players, and um, you know, it's just so great to be drafted there. Um, I had a little bit of contact with them. I mean, uh, I, I met with them at the combine and, and a few meetings with uh, Rick Bracey as well before before that. And um, just an unbelievable feeling right now, uh, shaking a little bit now, sitting there with friends and family, and, and going through this process has been awesome. What do you know about the team? Uh, I mean, I, I've uh, been around a few guys that are in the organization now. A guy like Travis Konechny, who I've uh, known for a little while, and. Um, other guys who have gone through uh, the same process and, and even being in that city as well, going to uh, I mean hockey tournaments there growing up and, and visiting that city a little bit as well. So um, being in this organization, being in this city, uh, it's definitely going to be awesome for my future. You're big, uh, you're, you're rugged, uh, you're physical. Some people would say uh, you're a prototypical wire fan. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm a big guy. I think I can play uh, both offensively and defensively. And um, really, that uh, that full ice game and, and playing all playing all areas in the uh, zone. So um, adding that to uh, to their lineup and, and being able to. Uh, maneuver my way into that uh, that lineup in the future and playing with a lot of those guys it's going to be awesome for me and and I think I can definitely bring a lot to the table so how much contact did you have with the flyers before this uh, I met with them a few times I had the combine especially uh, I thought it went really well there and I just couldn't be more happy to be drafted to this organization what do you think you're still going to work on and work on this summer? Yeah, I think my skating is the biggest thing. I think, uh, you no, know, I think my hockey sense, my hockey IQ are uh, good, and that I can keep up, and I just need to work on my skating, and after that, I'll be fine. Do you have a lot of those tools, to, like the, the versatility in your game? Do you think that's something that is going to serve you moving forward? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I can play anywhere. If it's fourth line, being a checking guy, or being one of the top line guys, and being a scorer, I think that. You know, just whenever coach puts me in, I'll be able to succeed in. Pat, early in the season, you were projected to be an early first round pick. What happened? How did you fall to 106? I don't know. I guess that's that's the draft for you. I think that anybody can go anywhere and think that I just can use this motivation. I mean, uh, you know, if I was rated there, I, that would have been awesome, but I couldn't be more happy to be where I am now. How much contact uh, did he have with the Flyers and where he thought today might go for him? You said earlier about Philadelphia and where did you think you would go in this draft? Yes, I talked about this before and I didn't think about what round I would take. I just hoped that I would take me and I am happy to be in Philadelphia. Yes, he had some contact with Philadelphia and no, he didn't have any specific contact with Philadelphia and no, he didn't have any specific uh, draft order they thought he would go in, but he's very happy that Philadelphia drafted him. How would he describe himself as a player? There's somebody, is there somebody he models his game after? Расскажи немножко о своей игре и есть ли какой-то хоккеист, от которой ты более как бы похож на? Я равняюсь на Никиту Кучерова из Tampa Bay. И что могу сказать о своей игре? Я люблю играть в тело, люблю играть в пас, бросать, люблю активную игру, как, как это играют в Северной Америке, и я думаю, что я могу развиваться как снайпер и в этом роде. Uh, I model my game and I admire Nikita Kucher from Tampa Bay. Uh, I like physical style of play. I, I do like to give assists and also try to take shots and become a, a better sniper and scorer. That's the second half of this season was so much better than the first half. Uh, why do you think the second half of the season was better than the first half? Because I think it was my first season, adaptation, the field. Also, I think it was a lot of good players in the team, and I had to play higher and higher. And so I think that in the second half of the season, the first half of the season, I think that in the second half of the season, адаптировался в команде, и поэтому я считаю, что я смог раскрыться еще лучше. Uh, first uh, adaptation, it was his first season, so to get used to it. Second of all, he thinks he, they had a lot of good players on the team, so it took him some time to get up in lines and to show that he can play as well.